You know, these studios are really trying to stretch out these shared universes with all these prequels and sequels and whatnot. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you very much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Annabelle Creation. Do appreciate it. Before I do get into the review, help your boy out. Go ahead and click the subscribe button, become one of my subscribers so you can get all the content that I have to provide. You can click the bell so you can get notifications. Also, click that like already, that like button, that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. All right, so now we have Annabelle Creation. Of course, this is a horror movie. It's described as a horror mystery thriller. I talk about this a lot. Me, Brandon Keith Avery, and horror movies do not mix. I am a big scary cat. And so I was really, uh, you know, apprehensive, you know, to go see this movie because I just don't like scary movies and I didn't want to be scared. And plus, I did see um, this is in the same universe as The Conjuring, The Conjuring 2, uh, and uh, Annabelle. Annabelle came out in 2014. Uh, the Conjuring 2, I think, came out last year. The Conjuring came out. A number of years ago that was the you know the first one in the shared universe and i like the conjuring a lot out of all four of these films this one is the absolute uh, no not this one but the conjuring that that was actually a really good scary movie it was a great movie it was a great scary movie just a great movie overall i really don't remember the conjuring too and i absolutely hated uh annabelle and uh i'm not going to tell you uh well I i'll talk about that later but uh the conjuring the first one was great and after seeing Annabelle Creation, you don't even have to watch them in order of the release date. You can watch them in real sequential order. So you can watch Annabelle Creation first, then Annabelle, then Conjuring 1, then Conjuring 2. I don't know. That may be a good Friday night for you or a good weekend or whatever, how you want to watch it. So, I mean, just the way they tied in the story with the rest of the franchise, I will give this movie Annabelle Creation credit there. Um, they did do a great job there. But what the uh, what this movie is about, of course, if you've seen The Conjuring, you know that there was a doll named Annabelle that was kind of in the background and it was spooky as hell. And everybody was like, OK, what in the world is going on with this doll over here in the corner? Now, then you had Annabelle and that kind of went back into the past and gave you a little bit of the lore of that doll. But now we actually have the origin story of Annabelle, the doll and, you know, why she's angry, why she's going around demonizing and threatening people and just how everything started. And to be honest with you, that is the absolute best part of this movie. I love the intro. This is a true origin of a character or of a set piece. And it didn't even feel like, you know, I, it didn't feel like a fake set when I was seeing the hometown back in the day. I actually felt that this town and this home that these people were living in and, and, and surrounded themselves in felt like a real warm home, uh, type place or whatever. It just felt really nice, warm and genuine. You know, and we got to see who Annabelle's parents were, the mother and father. We got to see Annabelle for a little bit. And it just seemed like a very nice, loving family that's kind and, you know, seemed like where they come from. No one were hurt to fly and they just want to live in peace and happiness and, for, you know, forever until the ends of time. And then the accident happened. And that's when we get Annabelle. So as you see from the trailers, the father is a doll maker and they prayed and prayed and prayed. And, you know, the doll came to life and they gave the, the spirit permission to live in the doll. And now the doll is going around haunting people. And that is the premise of the movie. And I will say, I will be honest with you. I, I really love the beginning of this movie. I love the way um, it came through in the beginning. The intro was phenomenal. And when that title card came up saying Annabelle Creation, it came in like a like a wood panel and like the words were like burnt into the wood. And I really did like that effect. And it just kind of set the tone for the rest of the movie. Like, OK, you're in for a treat. Buckle up. We're about to scare the crap out of you. And as far as that's concerned, um, it was pretty, I don't, well, it was scary a little bit. It was, um, you know, I was kind of in my seat, kind of, you know, twitching and turning, covering up my face scenes it, it, during nighttime because I was scared and, you know, trying to anticipate when something was going to pop up or make my skin crawl. And so the film did a, a great job there of, uh, you know, setting that up and just kind of letting you feel all the heebie jeebies as you're sitting there, you know, watching things in the theater. Um, something else that I liked and I really have to think about it and I'll tell you why in a moment, but I like the intro 
and I like how scary it made you feel. Um, but the only thing I can talk about next are the characters. And um, early on, I really did like the characters. I, I thought this is a nice group of, um, you know, young girls, young women or whatever that are living in this home. And I, I left that part out when I was telling you what the movie is about. The father that made the doll, he decided to, uh, I, I guess, in a way to cope with the loss of his daughter. And I'm not spoiling anything. This is, you know, all in the trailers. Um, he opens up his home to be sort of, sort of like a, um, you know, an orphanage or whatever. And, um, so he brings in these girls. Some of them are kind of around the age of 12. Some of them are teenagers, you know, in high school, um, some white, some black. And, um, you know, at first they were cool. Um, but as more of the film progressed on, I began to feel more and more frustration coming from all the characters. And I really complained earlier in the summer uh, movie releases about Alien Covenant with those characters being some of the dumbest characters around. Annabelle creation comes a close second with just some stupid characters and decisions that they're making. And it's, it's basically like they're, they're asking to be terrorized. They're asking to die. They're asking to be harmed. And I just could not get over it. It was just really annoying and just clogged me out of the film completely. Now, you may say to yourself, OK, Brandon, these are just children. These are little girls. Of course, they're not going to be making the best decisions ever. No, no, no. I mean, there I, I can I can try to um, give them the benefit of the doubt in just a little bit, because, you know, when you're a little kid, you're going to be curious. But these kids are like seven or eight years old. They're much older than this and they know better. And it's just time after time in this movie to where, you know, it, it got to the point to where, you know, you have the intro of the movie, then you get to the crib, you get to the house to where they're going to be staying. Right. And then, you know, the, the you know, the, the key. OK, I'm sorry. I thought something messed up on my uh, screen here. The keeper of the house sets the rules for the house. And I was like, OK, this is the house. You can go here. You can go here. Don't go into this room. This room is, you know, this room is off off, uh, you know, no access. You can't get in. You know, what do they do? They go into the room. You know, OK. And creepy things start to happen. Okay, creepy things are going to happen. But after the first time and the second time and the third time, creepy things are happening. That just makes no damn sense whatsoever. That can't be explained with any rhyme, logic, or reason. Don't you think you should speak up and let people know? Don't you think you should communicate? It's not, you don't even have to go and call somebody. You guys are all in the house together. This is a house full of like eight or nine people. Some people are a lot of people are sleeping. No one is sleeping in a room by themselves. You know, everyone, there's at least two people in every room. Some rooms have four or five people, but, you know, no one is communicating. I mean, first, first, there's one character over here. They have something happens to her one night. Then it's a character over here. Then the next night that, you know, something happens to these two girls. And I'm just saying to myself, OK, when are you guys going to come together and start communicating on what the hell is going on in this house? Nothing makes sense. But no, everybody wants to keep it secret for reasons that are never explained. Now, they do eventually come together and have this kumbaya meeting towards the end of the film. But like I said, it's towards the end of the film. That's far too late. I've already been clocked out of the movie, you know, and, and it's just, you know, just really frustrating. And, you know, I don't understand. And early on, something else that I just didn't like about this movie is early in the beginning of the film, when we got to know Annabelle before she was uh, ran over by the car, which is in the trailers, I'm not spoiling anything. Then the movie really never explained to why she went to the dark side, you know, like Freddy Cougar, for instance, you know, he was wh whether it was true or not, you know, he was alleged to have done some inappropriate things with children. So they locked him in a room and burnt him on fire. He came back for revenge. Was it Jason or whatever? You know, he was at a, 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 a summer camp or whatever, and he drowned in the lake while the camp people were having sex in the background. OK, you guys are smashing while I'm drowning. OK, that's why he comes back and murders everybody. And the scenes are extra brutal when the people are having sex or whatever. You know, I, I can go on and on and on with scary movies like this. So, so why are like the, you know, the, someone dies and they come back angry to get revenge. There was nothing like this at all. I mean, who are you mad at? They, no one. You know, I, I'm sorry, little girl. I'm sorry, little Annabelle. But you the one that ran into the street and got your face, you know, ran in by a car. No one did that. I know I, I, it sucks. You can probably blame your parents because they didn't keep, you know, uh, look out for you in the middle of the street. But, you know, that's I think that's stretching it. And I just can't give you that. 
And so we have, uh, you know, a nice intro, and the movie did give you the heebie-jeebies, but then when again, we have stupid characters, and for this to be an origin story, we don't necessarily know why Annabelle just went crazy ham and just starts wanting to F with people all the time. That was never explained. But this is something else that frustrates me. Seriously, towards the next part of the movie, when things are getting amped up even more, where it's just blatantly obvious, your mind it, it your mind is no longer playing tricks on you. You're not sleepy. You're not tired. You're not thinking that there is a shadow over there. It is blatantly obvious that there is some supernatural activity going on in this house, and it, the movie um, the movie gravitates away from jump scares to actual lingering scares, to where it just doesn't pop out, ah, and that's it, and it goes to the next scene. No, something pops out, ah, and it stays there, and it gets closer and closer and closer, and just more darker and darker and darker. To, you know, and then they show the person's reaction. They cut back to the supernatural activity and then they leave the room and the supernatural activity is chasing them. But doing all this chasing, you know, like, why are you not? Why, the, one of the little girls is never screaming for help. I would be screaming my eyes. Ah, ah, help me. Ah. And I can't scream that loud because it's late and I have neighbors. But I would like, ah, help, help, ah. That's what I would be doing. But they're not doing that. I mean, I don't understand. You have a house full of multiple people. People upstairs, people downstairs, people that can come help you and come save the day. But no, you want to fight the battle of demons in a dark house by your damn self. That doesn't make sense. But then there was just one character. But then characters kept just doing this over and over and over again. And it's like it, it's just another thing I don't understand. It's like if the whole house is haunted or whatever, are you being chased? Get the hell out of the house. You have some characters that are scared hiding in a closet and something is chasing them about to kill them. And then when the demonic presence is there about to harm them, it doesn't harm them. It just sits there and kind of prances around like teases them. It's like the, the demonic force wants to tease them to death. But then jumping back over to the people that were, were supposed to be rooting for these little girls. They're like running from one closet to another. No, run from one closet out of the house down the street into you know, the middle of town or the police station or something like that. I don't know. Knock the phone. Then dial 911. Knock the phone off the hook. Something. But that's just not going on. I mean, like this one girl, she seriously was hiding in her room behind the door like this. And when something was about to get her, she ran back three to four feet and got in her bed and put the covers over her head. Yet a doll named Annabelle is teleporting around the house, ending up every which way. And you think that hiding under the covers is going to do something? I don't know. I mean, if these are the type of characters you like, you're going to you're going to love this movie. But not for me. These are just dumb characters. I, I, mean, I was just sitting there, I'm trying to get excited. Like, okay, we got another scene here at night. Is it going to be good? And I just end up sitting back like, oh. okay. It did, the movie is a little creepy. But when, when is this thing going to be over? You know, so that's just how I felt about the film. I mean, this is the fourth movie uh, from Warner Brothers in this horror movie shared universe franchise. And uh, I don't want necessarily want to say this is the worst because Annabelle, the first one was uh, it, it wasn't, you know, that good, um, you know, but this one was slightly a bit better. But then I can't recommend it either. This was just uh, like nothing is happening to these characters. And, you know, every time the demonic force had a you know a opportunity to. Well, I don't want to say I was going to say every time the, uh, the demonic force had an opportunity to harm somebody, it wouldn't. It did harm a few people, but it did let more people go. But then on the flip side, the other characters that were supposed to be rooting for these girls, every time they had an opportunity to run and, you know, run away and get help, they wouldn't run away. They would run away two and a half feet and then turn around and look like that's going to, I'm going to look you to death. I'm going to look you away. Oh, leave me alone. You know, and I I, I just didn't enjoy it. So, um, Yeah. If I had to rate Annabelle Creation out of a 1 out of 10, I give it a 4 out of 10. Yes, a 4 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Annabelle Creation or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. You can also click the bell so you can be notified. 
and get all the content that I have to provide. Help me out. I would really appreciate it in helping me reach my first milestone of 1,000 subscribers. You can also go to my website, Book Market. Check me out there. I do have written reviews. And you guys, you can also look me up on social media. And I made it very easy for you because I have a link to all that in the description box. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash review of Annabelle Creation. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Peace.